Hello everyone, this is Mirzae from Cal Poly Pomona and in this lesson we're going to go over functions in R. Functions in R are very similar to functions in any other concept has input, has a process, and an output. The structure of a function in R overall starts with a name for the function. Suppose that in this example we want to create a very simple function that gets two inputs, sum them up, and return the output which is a summation of two numbers. So let's say as simple as summation of two numbers. So the first thing we need is the name for this function. We call it my sum. And the overall structure now is as follows. Functions, open, close parentheses, where you put the input of the function and then open, close, curly bracket, that you put the process of the function. And the output is going to be spit out from the function using a return command. Uh, open close parenthesis here. So you have a name, then you define that as a function, you define your input, you define the process here, and you define the output, and close the bracket here. So overall, this is the structure of a function in R. Now let's put uh, the input and the process and try to get the output from this function. If we do not put the return here, what happens is we never get the result out of this function. So return command allows us to get the output out of the function. So I said I want to make a summation of two numbers, right? So I'm going to give two input. You can name them anything, x and y, a and b, any name that you want to put for these input, it is completely fine. However, your process should use these input that you define here. So I define that summation to be equal to a plus b. If these are my two inputs, I want to sum them up and return the result, which is in this case saved in a variable called summation. So that's a very simple function that in R allows you to give two input to your function, sum them up, and spit out the result. So let's go ahead and run this whole block. And as you see, when I run it, there is no error. Now, how do I use this my sum function? Next time, when this is introduced to R, you don't need to run the whole block. Next time, you can just say my sum and give two input, two and three. Instead of A and B, you just put the two and three. So it's going to be my sum, and inside that, you put your two numbers. If you execute this line, the summation should be executed. Basically, you're going to have two plus three, which is equal to five. If I execute that, you see that I have five here. So do I need to rerun this whole block next time I want to use my sum function? The answer is no. You can put any two numbers in here and execute and see the result. Now you can see how the summation function in R works. For any function that you use in R, there is a written script that ex gets executed every time. Now, what if I say my sum 2, 3, and 4? Let's ex execute that. And as you see, it says error. In my sum function, there is an unused argument, which is 4, because we introduced a variable here that wasn't defined in my function in the first place. So function doesn't really use 4, because nowhere in this function we introduced the usage of the third input. So to avoid situation like that, you can create error messages. So for example, you can put an error message that if the length of input is more than 2, then you can simply tell the user that you put more input that uh, is required. So there are a lot of things that you can add to this function, but the purpose of this short lesson is to just give you the very brief idea about the function. Now, how do I um, use this function next time around? The way that it works is that you have to save this file called my sum with the same file name. So I'm going to go ahead and save this function under my, let's say, document folder with the same name, my sum. Now that I have saved this file, I can close it. I close my R as well and now open it again. Now this time, if I want to use my function, I don't need to rerun the whole block. I just can source the file related to my function and use it again. I'm going to show you how we can source the file. So you can go to new script here and 
the easiest way to get the code for sourcing is to basically source it from right up here. You have to click on the console first and then go to source R code. File under source R code. I have to go and choose the file that I have created, which was called MySum. If I double click in it, you see there is a uh, line pops up here. You want to copy and put it on the top of your script so that every time in your script you want to use that specific function, you just execute this line and the uh, file gets sourced. Now the good news is you don't need to rerun the whole block again. You can just use your function after you executed that line. So if I execute my sum 2 and 3, 5 is um, generated. So you, instead of running the block every time, next time you open your R, you simply just source the R code. And you save it in your script. And next time, just execute this line and then start using your function. With this, our initial lesson in making functions in R has concluded. Please refer to a Blackboard for your assignments. Thank you.